Beth Singley. Am I on? Yes. yes. Thank you. Let's try again. My fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, even the tall ones, hello. <laughs> and most importantly, our brave, brave speaker who stood up here in front of this audience and told us a fantastic speech about our very new favorite top holiday. Thank you for coming and sharing with us this speech. And I want to share with you a couple of things that really encapsulate the way that you just own this speech. And then my job, secondarily, as an evaluator, is to give you a few things that would make that speech have that extra um. So I got a two-part job. Your job mainly was about being brave. You told us straight out of the gate that we were weenies. Weenies. And I am one. I didn't even carve a pumpkin. I'm sorry, but it's true. You took this stage by storm. You were over here and talking to people. You were over here and telling us all about how Halloween had caused your neighbor's yard to lift off. Your body movement from side to side was just a very powerful point in your favor. Well done, very brave. Also, you used humor in a way that we don't see very often. It's not very often that you see somebody willing to be brave enough to sing at the audience. We're feeling challenged to speak at them. And here you are singing from the top of your lungs. Bravo to you and to your brave right now. A couple of things that I would encourage you to, to work on. Um, it wasn't until about two-thirds of the way through your speech that I realized we were saying that Halloween either has gotten too big or that I was a weenie for not following along. We seemed to both be challenging the audience to get on board with Halloween because it's the next big thing, and holy crap, have you realized how big this thing has gotten? So I would encourage you up front to make the point that you're going to make so that we know where you're going and that would help us follow along. The other thing that you did is you faked us out in the very end. We were ready to sing along, fa la 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 la, we were there. And we stopped in the middle, and we had a great joke, and then you finished the song, and I was still going, well, I'm singing. Why am I not singing? <laughs> uh, so I would encourage you to put your joke before, because we were even directing with the great body movement. We were there with you, and that split messed me up a little bit. I will say that the songs were probably your strongest point. They started every single point in your speech, every single one of them. And I knew exactly where we were in the speech because of those songs. And so I want to tell you that if you continue to use that great organization and that great value movement and that hilarity that you have, and add in some of the little tweaks that we've talked about, make a point earlier in the speech, you will take that bravery and that speech and go to the next level. And I encourage you to get there because it's gonna be epic. Thank you.